Talk about a hidden treasure. Here we are at Les Potagers in this beautiful home built from uh, 1918 to 1921, so it's coming up on 100 years old here. Uh, this was the home of Lillian Yeager, one of Fullerton's founding mothers, a pioneering businesswoman who was uh, Fullerton's first auto mechanic and a Dodge motor cars dealer back in the early years of the 20th century. It is now home to Les Potagers, custom decor, home embellishments, French ribbon, and all sorts of wonderful antiques. And we are gonna go inside and talk to John Reed about this hidden gem of Fullerton. So come on in, let's go. My name is John Reed, and I am the uh, creator and owner of this beautiful store, Le Potager. Le Potager means the kitchen garden in French. And because I've had this asked of me all these years, I've been in business about 21 years now. And I will have people ask me what Le Potager means. And I said, it means the kitchen garden. So a kitchen garden, a potager in France, is the really beautiful walled vegetable and flower garden that you would see behind the old chateaus. And over the years I've had people ask me, uh, solicitors especially, can I speak to Lee Potager or <laughs> Lee Potager? And so, so I've gotten used to answering that, you know, the potager, and when somebody gets it right, they're like, yes, I got it, you know. <laughs> I think the uniqueness of Le Potager is two things. First of all, it's this house that I've been blessed to uh, have this business in now for about 21 years. And uh, the house is actually celebrating its 100 year anniversary. It was built by Lillian Yeager, who was a pioneering businesswoman of Fullerton. And Lillian was the first woman back in the early 1900s to start selling Dodge motor cars and she built up quite a successful business and uh, was just a, a wonderful businesswoman. And so she built this house for herself uh, between 1919 and 1921. So we're kind of like in its 100 year anniversary. So the house and the setting is what makes, I think, the look that I do, which is a very uh, romantic kind of European country look. I think the marriage of the two, I've always said that it reminds me of a beautiful painting. The house is the frame, and then the product or the look that I do inside of it is the picture. So the two together make just for a wonderful place. And I have a lot of unique items that I find on my buying trips. Uh, in fact, our, our, our logo for the business is Le Potage, and then underneath it says, expect the unique. So we always have really unique and different items in here. And so I think it's the setting and, and everything that just, it's, it's, it's just a beautiful place to shop. I actually, yeah, during the pandemic, uh, I had the store closed. We had closed, I think it was March 16th. And I was closed for about six months. Luckily, I am also a garden designer. So I was doing a lot of gardens last year and I have quite a few projects this year as well because people last year could not travel and so they were spending time at home and they were probably looking around the, the yard going, let's do this, we're gonna be stuck here, you know? So I had a lot of projects. So uh, doing that work is actually what kept the bills being paid, you know, the rent, because the rent keeps coming and the, you know, your insurances and all that stuff. So that's what kept me afloat. I was finally able to open about the end of summer. I started doing it by appointment and then increased the days. And then as I got in towards, you know, fall and the holidays, I was open seven days a week. And now I'm back to three days a week, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, because I'm working on a lot of gardens in the first part of the week. So it's the combination of the two that kept me afloat, where unfortunately a lot of businesses, you know, if you didn't have something else to fall back on, either suffered or had to close. So I, I feel very, very fortunate that I have another avenue of creativity. Well, yeah, um, I've, I'm, I'm noticing that people are getting a little bit more relaxed. I'm still a little hesitant to go in, you know, full bore with doing like, you know, culinary events and things like that because I just think it's too soon for that. But I am going to start doing probably around the end of May. We're going to start doing, you know, the French cafe music. You know, I think people will be more comfortable about me serving some rosé and maybe a little appetizer for them to, to have while they listen to the the beautiful music. So that's something I'm going to start easing into. And then probably into the summer, maybe closer to fall, I'll be able to start kind of opening the veranda more, which has the farm table out there and a little bit, you know, enclosed events. Right now I have two cats I, I take care of that have 
taken that space over. So it's their home. It's their home right now. So <laughs> I love them though. They're great. When the house was originally built, it was a what they call a sunken moss garden. So if you took this decking away, there's two little steps that step down and it would have been a little enclosed moss garden, which was very fashionable at the time. I've turned it uh, more into like a conservatory with a lot of indoor plants. And uh, it really, I think, has a really nice feel and atmosphere to it. I opened it about, maybe about a month and a half ago, a couple months ago. I think the special thing that I would want them to know is that I really am a hidden gem. I'm off the beaten track. You really have to know where I'm at. And, but once you know where I'm at, you know, you know how to get here. Over all these years that I've, I've been here, the one thing I get from people is that it's so peaceful, so meditative when they come in. They love that it's a beautiful experience. I take a lot of pride in, in like I said, looking for unique items, but also making sure the displays are beautiful, the music's nice, everything complements each other. So when you walk in the front courtyard with all the, the outdoor plants, you walk through that and you come in the store and it's a whole different, you know, you could just get hit with the sensory, like, I just think it's beautiful. And I spend a lot of time in here and I never get tired of it, never. Uh, but it's, it's, it's just one of those places that if you didn't know about it, you've been missing out. And people that do find out about it think, they go, how long have you been here? And I'll say, well, 21 years now. They're, they're like, what? I live right literally up the street. I didn't even know, you know, I go, yeah, it's just, you know, you got to know about it. And it's so th these avenues like this, where I'm talking to you, it's, it's a great way for me to, to share my love and passion for this business uh, that other people can discover. Because I think we all need something, you know, after what we've been through this last year, People are hungering for, you know, things to enrich their soul and, and to really, for them to feel good. I tell people, you come in here, it's cheaper than going to see a therapist. You just walk around, you know, it's just, but uh, you know, people have. The first day I opened, I had actually had a customer that she started crying in front of the desk. And I asked her, are you, everything all right? And in the past, uh, it'd been like, oh, this was my mother's favorite place and she passed away. So just coming in here makes me, you know, emotional. But this, this woman was just so happy th that I was open again and that she was able to come in because it just, it just got to her. So those are the little things when you spend so many hours working at a business and being a small business owner that uh, those little things you know that you're touching people or you're making a difference. And so that's the thing. I want people to come in here and know that they're coming into something very special and hopefully they walk away finding something special and that I've made a difference or, you know, made them feel better in their lives.